<laughs> Yo, <laughs> I don't want to say I'm shocked. I'm not shocked because from the first week, we already saw it. You know, me and Ruthie said, these people are in a relationship. They have to be. There's not anybody who tell me. Then Zinwe, then Chiwe came and told us that these people are not just in a relationship. They are married. You know, even when she said it, you know, we're just laughing about it. But we, we can't see the signs. And then just here and there, we'll try to like, you know, look out for one thing that will happen. Sometimes during the party, you see how they will play some songs. Let me tell you the song. You see the song, my head, my neck, my waist. And I still, uh, mm. <laughs> that song comes up. Okay, you know where running from? Where is grilling chicken? I'm looking for Cassia. My head, my neck, my head. Next, I go, I go just for him back. And I say, what? Well, I say, my brother, this is too friendly. This looks too friendly. You know, so the, the signs were just there. They were just there. So I'm not surprised. It's just that when they come out, they have some explaining to do to me because I thought I was your guy. This is the apple now. Huh? You know, but I'm very, I'm very happy because I mean, come on now. Kelly and Cassia, match made in heaven. Is the way DJ Flo said, Kelly Ray and Cassia, match made in heaven. You know, I told all of you guys in one of my videos that the way DJ Flo was moving with Kelly Ray, it wasn't even because she wanted to be in a ship with him. It was for him to find out what it is exactly that is happening between Kelly Ray and Cassia. Well, I think she actually paid too much attention to even discover that whenever mu this music and I still want knock, I want knock my head, my waist, that Kelly Ray will leave whatsoever he is doing, even though he is grinding chicken, that he will leave it to go and locate Cassia and he'll be doing and I still want knock. Ah, I want knock. <laughs> Guys, that was a kind of funny and to be quite frank with all of you guys dj flo didn't lie when she said that kelly ray and cassia they are much made in heaven like to be honest those two they are very very intentional with each other in fact they so much love each other that they respect each other so so well in that house away from that guys we are in for another interesting hot gist that i know you don't want to miss out from any part of well before we get right into all of that let me officially welcome you guys to my channel if you are new to this channel and you not subscribe kindly do where to subscribe to the channel click on the notification bell button do not forget to like and share this video with your friends and loved ones that like big brother gist so my good people of god ruti did an interview with hero daniel or should i say ruti did a therapy section with hero daniel she reviewed a whole lot of things and she said some of the things she said to wani and handy that she feels that it was so so extreme that if she was given an opportunity you know to write her wrong some of those things she wouldn't have said it guys i was thinking that she was going to clear handy and wani's name during this therapy section at the end of the day she ended up making the matter even more worse because she said additional things that got me like Ah, Ruthie, I thought you are taking responsibility. Why are you now complicating this whole issue? So if you say that there are certain things that you wish you had not said, what are those things? I will say it again. Okay. The fact that I said... <sighs> the fact that I said she was sleeping with her sister for some money. I just felt like even if... I had to say that even if I had this information it wasn't just the right thing to do like it shouldn't be for me because I'm a girlish girl I know how it means or what it means for someone to say certain things to you even if they know this thing even if they don't have information even if they heard it you know it's not just the right thing to say to someone at the time which I take accountability for and since certain things I said to her I feel really terrible for saying those things to her do you think you slut shamed them? To be honest, no. Because I saw the moves in the house you were doing. She's like shaming someone is assuming things and just calling them a wash out and all of that. But then again, I saw your moves in the house. I saw every other thing you did. Then you come and lie to people in the house that you're not doing this. Meanwhile, I thought it was a game plan for her and her boyfriend to kick me out of the house because of something that happened. Yeah. And it's like shaming her. Uh, <sighs> You're moving around to everybody in the house. One way or the other. And I caught you guys several times. So she knew what I was talking about. But you caught them what? I caught them in the house. I, I don't want like I'm using Having to... sex? No. I didn't see that. If you catch someone in an act, what is their act? There are other things, conversations. Okay. So I was in that space too. Certain things I saw in the house, but I still take accountability for certain things I said to her in the house. 
like I said, I was in bad space at the time. You don't dare someone and expect them not to do anything. I don't fear you. I only respect you and respect myself first. Because there's certain information I have about you, but I never mentioned it to anybody in the house. I never even mentioned that. Oh, somewhere, somehow, I know someone that knows you, and I know this is Lagos, you know. I never said it in the house. Do you think the information you have on them is authentic? Or just hearsay? I'll ask this question. That's okay. To be honest with all of you guys, Ruti is a hypocrite. She is a hypocrite, according to our sister, Diana. Honestly speaking, if you had watched this interview, Ruti started the interview by, you know, saying some of her stories or some of her ugly experience she had in the past because Hiro Daniel wanted to know her past. And she made mention of how people misjudged her without knowing her in person. She said quite a number of things that were so, so emotional about her past. But out of the things that she said, the one that really caught my attention was when she said that people misjudged her without knowing her in person or without, you know, being close to her. That was how Hiro Daniel was now asking her, do you think that the fight you had with Wani Ahandi, which is your major highlight in Big Brother Niger house, do you think that you could have handled it better? She said yes. In fact, she even said that there were some certain things she said there that she shouldn't have said, but she have said it and Hiro Daniel wanted to know what it is. And that was how she, she was just like, I don't think I can say it. I don't know how to say it. Before she said what she said about Handi and Wani sleeping with one man because of money that she shouldn't have said that and the one that now got me a kind of seriously angry and furious was when she said even though she have information about them even though she had know someone that is close to them the information she have about the guys at that point i was just like wow ruti are you being serious are you being serious now, are you trying to fool us or what? You said that some of those things, it is heavy for you. You shouldn't have said it. Why not clear it up and get it done with? You are not saying even though you have or you know somebody that are very close to them. Oh my goodness. Ruthie that said people misjudge her without coming close to her, without knowing her in person, is now judging another person. Is now, you know, saying things about another person without knowing them or being very, very close to them. I think, guys, that is quite hypocritical. Yes, in as much as, you know, I feel she gave Wani and Handi full dose of what they bargained for while they were in the house. Now she is outside the house. I think she should have at least, you know, right her wrong. Probably she should have said that it is because of the fight that made her say what she said and get it over and done with. She going back to say and she knows someone that is close to them. Meanwhile, you feel that people misjudged you in the past. Oh my goodness. At that point, I was just like, Ruthie, you are seriously bundle of Wahala. You are seriously bundle of bass and bows. Like, at the end of the day, she did not in any way write any wrong or even clear Handi and Wani's name. Because, guys, coming from someone that have been through a lot in the past, I think it is very, very bad that, you know, she didn't even clear up Wani and Handi's name. Because, guys, people have misjudged her and she shouldn't misjudge any other person without knowing them in person. Although she said she caught them several times and she did not say what she caught them doing. Wow. Guys, Ruthie is something else, to be quite frank. This is where I'll be ending this particular video, guys.